Welcome to this tutorial on how to use iframe converter together with uh, the Lightworks video editor. Uh, the thing is that um, Lightworks is very picky on what formats to uh, import. And here you can see the footage shot on my Canon 60D. They're all red and uh, they cannot be imported. Um, so that's why I made this little tool to convert files to a more Lightworks friendly format. And also, uh, which I will tell about later on, uh, make uh, proxy files and swap between proxy files and intermediate files for editing in a low quality and exporting in a high quality. But first of all, uh, I can select all my files here and drag them into iframe converter but for now I will just take a single one uh, and yeah for showing what is going on uh, I just drag the file into here and I hit convert uh, do you want to create folder structure and files for proxy editing this time around we won't do that so I hit no I select a folder to export to my project files I hit OK and then it starts converting and what is it is converting to is a matrix codec called MPEG2 iframe HD and uh, you can see the firewalls show up here And uh, iframe converter tells us that the converted file can be found in this folder, which we already know. So thank you. Um, yeah, and it has finished the conversion. So now I hit the import button and I open uh, my project files, and there we got our file in uh, 1088p uh, quality, high quality. And I uh, select the file use create link so it won't uh, convert again to another format and I hit import and there we got our file and I open the viewer and there we can see it playing and as you can see the playback is stuttering well, all that slack um, and um, yeah that's why Oh, it's it's because I got a very old computer. Um, I really need to update my computer. But uh, until I decide to do so, um, there's another option. Um, um, and that is, I'll just destroy this clip and leave the project. The other option is to... Um, hit convert again and then on this question do you want to create folder structure and files for proxy editing this time I will say yes and I will select my folder my project files I'll just open it so you can see what is going on I'll just delete this one um, so you can see what is going on when I hit OK And what it does is that it is creating three folders, uh, which um, iframe converter is now uh, converting two files into. One in a low quality uh, called proxy and one in a high quality called intermediate. And what it does is that it places the intermediate file in the intermediate folder and the proxy file in the project folder. And the reason for this is that, as it says down here, that when we import our footage into the uh, nonlinear editor, in this case Lightworks, uh, we only import uh, footage from the project folder. Um, and the whole idea behind this is that we can swap the, uh, the high and low quality uh, in this project folder. And as I said right now, uh, the um, proxy folder is empty and uh, the intermediate uh, folder uh, has the high quality and the project folder uh, the low quality file. 
Uh, and once again, it tells us that uh, we should only open files from the project folder. Um, yeah, later on we can uh, use this advice of using the the swap button, um, but I will tell you about this later on. So now we click OK and we open our project. We import from, as I said before, the project folder. And now the format is uh, much smaller. And I will import this using the create link once again. And now the video is playing back smoothly. I think the video recorder will probably not uh, show it as smoothly, but, um, but this car is playing smoothly, which means that we can do all our editing in this format. Um, with a nice, clean, smooth playback. Um, and yeah, and when we are finished with our edit and we want to export it, um, we of course would like to export it from the highest possible quality. And uh, to do so, I will exit the project. I will open iframe converter. And this time I'll use the other button, uh, swap the current project files and now it is the pro proxy uh, files located in the project folder. Uh, so when I click here and I select the top folder containing uh, these three uh, folders, it will swap the files. So the project folder now contains the intermediate files, which is uh, the high quality files. We'll OK this and reopen our project. And now this is the high quality uh, footage. I don't know if you can see it, but it's lagging a bit and <laughs> that is sort of the sign that this is uh, the high quality footage. Um, you can also see if I yeah, was to import that here, we got the 1088p um, format. So what I do is just export uh, the project in the high quality. And if after I have exported that I realize I have to do some more editing, I'll just leave the project, open iframe converter, uh, click this button once again, uh, select the top folder, hit OK, and now it has swapped the files back. So uh, the proxy, uh, low quality proxy files are located in the project folder, and um, we can continue editing in a low quality. So, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope it makes sense for you and it will speed up your workflow and hopefully get you started editing uh, um, with, without too much trouble. So uh, good luck and thank you for listening. Bye.